Fog life. Sasha Alexander Grischuk, one of the most charming grandmasters at elite level, also has a chance to qualify to play Magnus Carlsen in the candidates. In this video, we're going to look at five of his most amazing moves. Do like, do subscribe, and let me know which of the moves is your favourite. On to example number one. In this example, Grzychuk has the white pieces against Rubalevsky, a very strong Russian player. And it looks like he's in a little bit of trouble on G2, but he had foreseen a brilliant idea that gives him a winning game. Can you see the same idea? What is it? Remember to pause if you need to. Try to work some of them out for yourself. The idea is Rook takes C6, and this move on its own is maybe not that amazing but it's the next couple of moves which make it sparkle like a diamond pawn takes c6 and now did you see the follow-up this is where it's important one move is just one move you need to see the combination rook takes f7 and this is a unbelievable way to queen barry the b pawn this pawn is now unstoppable here black tried rook to f4 trying to get his rook behind that past pawn but now just the very calm C3. It strikes me that Mr. Fug Life is one of the calmest elite players around. And this move, I feel, sums up his personality. There's now no way that Black can stop the B pawn becoming a queen. So Rubileski resigns. On to example number two. They're short and sweet today, just like Grzychuk's answers in his press conferences. And in this position, his queen is threatened by the bishop on g7. Now, a normal human being would probably think, my queen's threatened. Shall I move the queen? I should move my queen, but not Grzychuk. And now he plays a little a little shuffle move. Can you see it? I'm giving a little clue with my hand there. Just, just, just should do being a rook. A rook, maybe? Rook g1. And this is a beautiful idea, which forces resignation. The point of this is, if black takes the queen, rook to g8 is a very unique and pretty checkmate. And this again shows Grzychuk's amazing tactical ability. This next example is taken from chess.com's own speed chess challenge. Grzychuk with the white pieces is playing NBL. Another player who's gonna be in the candidates nowadays. And uh, I'm very excited to see how both of these players will do. Grzychuk is an outside bet. I think he's not a bad outside bet. And in this position, white is a rook down, as we can see. And the problem Black has is the awful positioning of his king. Now, does White have to take a draw by repeating the rook on these two squares, giving a little perpetual, or can he do better? Well, as you can probably guess, he can do better, because otherwise I probably wouldn't be doing this video, would I? But what move finds the winning idea here? H4, a lovely move, using Harry to create a mating net. And the point is, queen to g5 is now unstoppable. And this is a very beautiful, subtle, and quite quiet way of weaving a very pretty position around the black king. For example, bishop to b7, queen to g5, and after the queen comes off, we might as well take with Harry the h-pawn. That's why he's called Harry, giving checkmate. Very nice stuff from Grischuk. There are occasionally moves in a game of chess which kind of just hit you like a thunderbolt. Whoa, where did that come from? And that's assuming you're not standing in a field with like an umbrella or something. And this is one such position. Grischuk has the white pieces and his opponent has just put the rook on b1. It doesn't really seem like there's much going on. But the next move is a very pretty and not so obvious way to deal with this move that gives white a very nice advantage. Can you see the move? Rook to b5, and this is a discombobulator, one of my favourite words, that one. And it's discombobulating the black pieces and ends up winning a bit of material or gaining a very nice attack. Um, it seems strange to move the rook into the way of the pawn, but if the pawn captures the rook, white can now take on b1, and he has two big threats. Queen takes rook and pawn takes pawn, which would be very strong. And after this move, rook to b5, what else can black do? Because the rook on b8's on pre, the rook on b1's on play. So the game actually continued, rook takes a1. 
But now after rook takes b8, you can see that white's rook has become incredibly powerful. And this is shown by a couple more moves. There is a threat to something like queen to f5 in some positions or some, something similar to this. And after king to f7, queen to g3, queen d7, e5 now opens up the last piece to enter in this very strong attack. And after white takes on h7, he now has the g6 square available and he goes on to win in not too many moves. So a very hard move to see if we go back, rook to b5. And it's one of those moves which only the top player's vision may be able to notice. If you got that, you really have done well. We're going to end with a move that I hope you all see. Now, sometimes in chess, you just have to go bang, bang, mate. Thank you very much. Or maybe nowadays, not shake their hands. What, what do we do now instead of shaking hands? Wave? A little bit of, you know, bump in the elbows? I don't know. But a very nice finish in this game, but maybe not too hard to find. Grishchuk with the white pieces, and he has some beautiful bishops. How did he finish off this position? Queen takes h7 check. And this is showing the strength of this beautiful bishop on b2, striking across those dark squares, or green squares in this situation. And after king takes queen, this rook now combines perfectly with the bishop. And when the king goes back, rook to h8 is yes please, thank you very much, wham, bam. And there we go. Very nice way to finish a little beautiful technique there of checkmate. Well, there you go. Grischuk's five most amazing moves. Some beautiful ideas there. I, in my eyes, he has a brilliant chance of qualifying to play Magnus Carlsen for the World Championships. A bit of an outsider, but he's a fantastic player. Do you think he's got a chance? Do you like those moves? Are there any other moves you would have preferred I included? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do remember to like and subscribe to this video. That means I can make more videos. And if you didn't like the video, why did you watch it this far? Now, that's a question for you. Not, not for me, really, is it? You know, think about it. You know, you made it a long way. Really? Okay, anyway, until next time, enjoy.